Uh, hello, I am Rodaldo Madangon. I will discuss the policy system of the three different countries, the Canada, the France, and the United Kingdom. First is the Canada policing system. The most expensive part of the criminal justice system is policing. This includes of 60,000 police officers from the three different levels, the federal, provincial, and the municipal. For federal police, uh, the, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police or RCMP make up the Canada's federal police force. They provide investigation and protect services to the federal government. All provinces except Quebec and Ontario and some municipal communities. At the federal level, the RCMP, the RCMP focus on eight areas. These are the custom and excise, uh, drug enforcement, economic crime, federal policing, immigration, proceed of crime, criminal intelligence, and lastly the international liaison and protective services. First is the custom and excise. So including cases of international smuggling, the Canadian Revenue Agency collect excise duties and taxes and the RCMP investigate violation of the excise act. So second is the drug enforcement. So enforces the law identified in the Control Drugs and Substance Act. Third is the economic crime. So it focus on commercial fraud, organized organized crime, technology crime, and securities fraud. It also works with the Bank of Canada investigating currency counterfeiting. Fourth, uh, the federal policy enforces federal law and regulations. Fifth, immigration. Focus on the smuggling of illegal aliens, the counterfeiting of passports and visas. Sixth, proceeds of crime. Identifies and confiscate money or property that is acquired through criminal activities. Seventh, criminal intelligence. Gather intelligence or information on organized crime or terrorist groups. Lastly is the International Liaison and Protective Services. Provide security for visiting federal officials and help in Interpol investigations. These are not done exclusively by the RCMP. Other law enforcement forces often work with the RCMP. The provincial police, on the other hand, uh, have jurisdiction in rural areas and in unincorporated regions around cities. Provincial police includes Ontario Provincial Police, Sorete, Doha, Quebec, and Royal Newfoundland Constabulary. First is the responsibilities of provincial police under Police Service Act, policing municipalities that don't have their own police force. Also responding to municipal police requests during emergencies. It also load the traffic control on all 400 series highways, including those in municipal districts. Also investigate services to coroner's office and provincial ministries upon request. Lastly, maintaining provincial firearms registry protection of Ontario government officials and dignitaries. As provincial police is different pa from municipal police. So municipal police have jurisdiction within their specific city or town and are paid for by that city or town. Municipalities without a police force use the RCMP for their policy. So there are, these are the responsibilities of municipal police. First is preserving the police, prevention of crimes, assisting victims of crime, apprehending criminal, laying charges and participating in prosecutions, executing warrants, and lastly is enforcing municipal by laws. Next is the France policing system. So France is a multiple coordinated centralized force. The French police consists of three centralized forces, two of which have the same mission, but different jurisdictions at a national scope. National police, 
Police Nationale, a National Gendarmery or Gendarmery Nationale, a Municipal Police or Police Municipale, at a local scope. So, two national law enforcement agencies. First is the Police Nationale, formerly called SORETE, a civilian force, primary responsibility is urban areas, run under the Ministry of the Interior. Second, Gendarmery Nationale, primary responsibility in the rural areas and military installations run under the Ministry of Defense and under operational control for most purpose of the Ministry of the Interior. So, other agencies, Directorate Generali des Duanes et Droit Indirects, a civilian customs service more commonly known as the Duan, under the Ministry of Budget, Public Accounting and Civil Servants. Next is the United Kingdom Police System. So, United Kingdom comprises of England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. The UK does not have a national police force. Instead, there are 44 geographic force, forces in England and Wales, and a single force in Scotland and one in Northern Ireland. Ireland. A multiple coordinated decentralized police force. The world oldest democracy and policing in UK also grown by the principle of policing of by consent. UK does not have a national police service, but a network of 43 individuals, police force responsible for policing specific counties, cities, and areas. These 43 forces are formed of more than 140,500 police officers, 14,000 volunteers, special constables, and 13,400 community support officers. So, Yoki has three way system of responsibility that ensures forces to run smoothly. First, Home Office funds the police and has the overall responsibility as overseer and coordinator of the police force. Second, Police Authorities makes sure that local forces operate efficiently and effectively. Third, Chief Police Officers have responsibility for the directions and control of regional forces. Fourth, the Police Reforms Act 2000 requires the Home Security to prepare an annual policing plan and to place it before the legislature. And that would be all. Thank you.